Okay, so I got most of this soldered in. Um, basically what I did is I, I cut cut these off right along here with a sawzall, a metal cutting blade. And then what I did is I used some uh, half inch joiner, um, copper joiner. This one's a messed up one, it didn't turn out very good. But uh, basically I use half inch joiner pipe uh, you know, like for joining pieces of copper together, right here. One of those. Now, the problem is, I don't know if you can see it on this end, but it's too loose. So, it's not the right size. Uh, it seems to be a goofy size. It's somewhere between 5 8 and 3 quarters. Uh, ID, it's 0 0.72, I believe, is the uh, measurement. So, I couldn't find any pipe that was that size. So, what I ended up doing is using... Um, a socket extension um, and basically swaging this larger um, to get it to a size that would uh, fit in there and be tight so if you look at a socket adapter it's well here I'll take you over here I'll show you oh, okay So you'll see the uh, my Stanley here. Basically, um, I basically use that, um, and basically I set that in a vise and just hammer on the top here, and it actually swages really easy. And what ends up happening is it swells open. Um, this is a bad example. A few of them didn't go in straight, so they're kind of messed up. But um, it basically swages it open to the point that it's uh, it's the right size for... Let's see, this one's messed up. But yeah, it, it swages it to the right size to fit in that copper. Um, so then what I did is I, I put those in here. So I put that little extension in. Um, in all of those. I cleaned up... The areas that were thin between here uh, that had pinholes in it reinserted the pieces and then soldered it back together um, worked pretty good uh, I had to do a little bit of uh, finagling to get it to fit together but uh, not too bad now I think the reason why these leak is you've got stainless steel sitting up against copper and on the galvanic scale uh, when you have contact of stainless steel and copper, you're going to get copper corroding. So I'm not sure why they didn't put something in behind here to stop it from making contact. Um, I'm guessing this thing is furnace brazed all in one shot at the factory, so uh, they probably don't have a whole lot of options. But it would be nice if they could put uh, some sort of fiberglass or high heat, um, you know, something around there to keep it connecting i was going to do that but i mean this thing is i don't even know what year this is i was given to me with the pool so it's old uh if i get another five six years out of this i'll be happy uh so there should be it should be okay that way um on this end here so for my pressure test basically what i ended up doing is i used these small drain plugs for a uh, bait wells not the bolt big ones but the bait well ones are a little smaller and basically what I can do here is I, I put that in there like that. Now this is a sandblasting nozzle. You can use whatever grommet or if you've got a cork or something, drill a hole in it. But basically I just, I set that in there. And I've got my air blowgun. And I hold it in there and I can basically blow air. And what I was doing is, I can't do it with the camera in one hand, but basically I'd use my uh, spray bottle of soapy water and I'd spray it on here and apply air and look for any leaks. And so far it, uh, I had a few leaks. I went back and soldered it up and so far so good. Leaks are good. So I got to get this back together now and uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, continue soon.